everybody. Happy New Year and welcome back to The Real Rundown. New Year, same host. My name is Ricky Wandike and this is what's been going on this past week in sports. So the first thing I want to say is, unfortunately, USC did not win the Cotton Bowl. Ohio State played a great game and they deserve to win. Congrats to the Buckeyes. And a couple days removed from that game, Sam Darnold announced that he will be declaring for the 2018 NFL Draft, as well as Crosstown rival quarterback Josh Rosen. These two quarterbacks are seeing some of the best in the country in college football. They are both projected to be first round picks by most analysts and experts, as well as myself. USC fans, don't get discouraged. We still have Matt Fink. You're probably asking who? This guy. From the SC 49, Fink keeps, and he runs through the defense. Matt Fink down the sideline, touchdown, 51 yards. The first career run for Matt Fink. When I saw him get into the game and break off that run, I said, oh, we're in good hands once Darnold leaves. At least that's what I'm expecting and hoping for. Sticking with college football, the college football playoffs took place, the semifinals, and in these semifinals, Georgia beat Oklahoma and Alabama beat Clemson. The Alabama-Clemson game, this is the third time they faced off in the college football playoffs, and this time Bama got the best of Kelly Bryant and Clemson. So it will be the Bulldogs versus the Crimson Tide in the national championship game, and my pick for this game is, I'm gonna go with Bama. Georgia literally has the home field advantage as it will be played in Atlanta but Bama is just they're, they're a great team so I got Bama winning this one you can let me know who you predict to win the game in the comments down below and the last thing I want to mention in college sports I just I saw this on Twitter and I believe it deserves a shout out I hope I don't butcher your name Shakila Hill of Grambling State recorded the fourth quadruple double yes quadruple double the fourth quadruple double in division one women's basketball history the last quadruple double recorded was 24 five years ago but i just had to give you props on that that is not an easy feat sticking with basketball not necessarily college and not professional we're gonna stay somewhere in the middle and that is right now where the ball brothers lie leangelo and lamella ball both landed in lithuania earlier this week to report to their new team according to the new head coach they are expected to be playing a lot you can love them you can hate them i'm gonna support the ball brothers mainly because their older brother lonzo is on the lakers and i'm a fan of his unfortunately the lakers have dropped nine straight so hopefully can get that turned around back to the ball brothers their new lithuanian team jersey sold out in one day they're bringing notoriety to a team that is not very well known i hope they can perform well i wish them nothing but the best and i do plan on watching their games as well their first game is on january 9th the last thing i want to talk about we're going to move over to the nfl it is wild card weekend this is exciting because this is a pretty competitive playoff race one of the most competitive i've seen in a while first round the nfl playoffs begins today today kicks off with the tennessee titans versus the Kansas. Kansas City Chiefs. In that matchup, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Chiefs. They've been very inconsistent this year, but they do have the home field advantage. And on top of that, I just think they're a little better suited for the playoffs at this moment. Also today, the Atlanta Falcons will be coming here to LA to play the Rams in the Coliseum. And for that game, as much as I would love for the Rams to win because the Falcons play in the same division as the Saints, I do believe the Falcons will win. But if the Rams do, I will be very happy. And then tomorrow, it will be the Buffalo Bills traveling to Florida to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. I gotta go with Jacksonville in that matchup. Their defense is really strong. Calais Campbell, Jalen Ramsey, that whole front, they hold it down. So I think they have the advantage there. And of course, the Carolina Panthers will be playing the New Orleans Saints for the third time this season, second time in the Superdome, and I believe the Saints will win once again. That's just my opinion. I'm a Saints fan. They have home field advantage, and this year they are solid on both sides of the ball. That's just my opinion. Those are my predictions. And now I want to hear from you guys. Any predictions you have about the national championship game are the lakers gonna bounce back immediately and who will win these wild card weekend games you can leave me all your answers in the comment section below and we can talk sports that's what this is all about everyone this is the first episode of the new year 2018 i look forward to being way more consistent with it and you know having more fun with it branching out to new ideas possibly you can give me some as well in the comments below of what videos you think i should be doing you can hit me up on twitter and follow me you'll see my tag name in just a second i just want to say i hope you guys are enjoying 2018 thus far and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend until next time my name is ricky wandike and this is the real rundown